Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to make this pattern. It is a very cool pattern. It is octagonal and heptagonal, meaning it has these eight sided shapes and these seven sided shapes here. You can see there's these squares that repeat and you can tessellate it further. I'm going to show you how to make it really quick. First thing you want to do is obviously make your line, make a big line. Make your circle, first circle. And then you're going to want to make all of the sides of what would be a hexagon all around. So that's this point, this point, you know, here and here. And then from those you're gonna make that point and then you do the same at the bottom obviously and that's how you get this line um, going up and down and then you can do the same thing for the sides um, you go out and then, you know, this way, you make those arcs on all those corners, and that's how you can make um, this square, as well as the X that, that runs through it. Okay? And then the next thing you're going to want to do is to make uh, this. You can see there's two circles here. To make the bigger circle, what you want to do is... Get your compass at between these two points and then mark that. After you've done that, make your compass go to that size and then you don't even have to make a whole circle because really you just need to make you need to get one slice of this little pizza here. Okay, and then that's going to be the size of the circle that goes in here. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to one of your points of the hexagon and then mark the compass to one of the this middle point and that's going to be the size of this bigger circle here see there's two circles there so that's the bigger one and then what you want to do is mark this point and this point of that circle, okay? That circle on this drawing has been diminished. There we go. And so what you want to do is get the mark the vesica Pisces, as it were. Okay, wait, which one is it? I got a whole bunch of lines on you. Okay, yeah, it's that one. So you go from there. You see I have I have this this line here. That's the line between this and this. I made this little line here. And then from that point up until this point that's going to be the arc of a what would be a heptagon. We're not going to actually make a heptagon in here. See, I have that line already there. Um, that's actually going to be the size of this smaller circle now. So, then you make this smaller circle. Then, you have to make another heptagon arc. So, you mark this point and this point. And you have to find the Vesica Pisces of this again 
which I already have the line here, obviously, because I've completed this pattern. But you would put the ruler there and there, mark that second line, and then from that second line, get the compass to here. And then that's going to be the arc of your heptagon. But you don't start on this side. You actually start here, as you can see, with the completed star. So you would mark all the points. And that's your heptagon. And depending on how accurate you are when you're constructing it, I'm pretty good at it. Um, I can get it pretty much bang on usually. Sometimes, as you can see, sometimes I have to do some adjusting. Um, so if you go around the circle and you find that your last arc is, uh, is off, then you just have to slightly, just very gently minuscule amounts <laughs> of change to your compass if it's if you if say you go too far and you go over the line then you're going to just make it a little bit shorter and if you're under which it usually is if it's one or the other then you just make it just a tiny bit bigger okay and then um oh shit i actually skipped a step so when you're when you make this circle Obviously, you're going to want to make the other four of those circles first, and then get the arc of, of the uh, heptagon. Once you get the, so say these circles are all on here, then you mark all the points this, of the seven-pointed stars, always starting from inside of... Uh, the square. If you start on the other line, the star will be facing the wrong direction. Okay, so you've got your seven pointed stars, and now you're going to want to um, connect all these pizza slices because this is a circle initially. You're going to wa want the straight line, so you, you get the straight line, but um, I mean, actually. It's best maybe to do this line first. So you just continue this line of this uh, heptagonal star right into the middle line of this X. And you do that with this one as well. And then continue doing that with all of them so, you, so that they're all... Um, basically it creates a little wonky diamond or kite shape on each one. As you can see, they connect to this dot. They go through there. And then, after you will go from this point through this point with your straight edge, and then just connect to the, the kite. And you do that on the opposite side. So you go to this pizza slice here, go through this point with the straight edge, and then connect it to the kite. And then just do that on all sides. So you go from here to there to there, here to there to there, you know, on every side. And then you've got the basic first shape completed. To get, to tessellate this, you have to Um, you have to do a couple of things. First of all, you want to get this point again, which is the original circle shape, or circle size. You're going to want to mark that over here. Next, what you're going to want to do is get the compass to the top point of here, and then go over here. That's going to give you one of the lines you need for this. Next, 
this goes into here then you can make this arc and so this corner of the next one has one of the lines already as well now you go to this point of the heptagon and then mark that mark the compass to this corner and then go from here and then along that new line you've made now you've got a little X there and then do the same down here so that's the same this will be the same my hole is too big there hold on I gotta fix my compass okay so it goes to there now you've got the line from here and then that new one and so you get that point now and then you connect that point to the two lines you made here you put the compass down where they meet connect that and then that's the one line of your uh, square and then what you can do then whoops is go back to um, the first circle size um, actually what would be better is go back to the one length of the uh, square and then you'll get that arc and then do the same up here and you'll get one of those lines because you just need two um, right okay so you got those two and then you can do it even from here so you get that and that and now you have two lines and then you can connect there to there to there to there and also get the X and then from that you already have all of the sizes of everything else you need so you can go back to this first thing first circle and you don't have to make the bigger one now because you already have the size you need I'm holding a camera with one hand so it's not gonna be exact but then you make that circle go back find these uh, heptagonal circle sizes do all of these circles or these three and then you have to find the the arc of the heptagon as well get that and then you mark all the points of these stars and then once you're done that then you just connect all the lines like you did there and then you just you just continue how you created that to that you do that this way and then that to this way and that's how you tessellate it it's very simple you can tessellate it infinitely it's a little tricky but there you go